everybody, welcome back. My name is Rayma. Today we are going to do a part two of the video on what is Passover, and my guest is again my father in law, one of the most brilliant oh, teachers. Come on. <laughs> this is Larry Mariello. He's been in ministry forever, um, but he's. Really... Moses and I were on. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> um, so he's actually going to be talking about some other really cool uh, facts. And I'm just going to let you take that away. Yeah, no insignificant detail in the scripture. Right. And we can see that so many things that, um, that were written in scripture and prophesied and even the details about Passover and mm -hmm. Jesus' birth and all of that fulfilled so many scriptures. Mm -hmm. Just so many prophecies and so much detail was fulfilled. Yeah. For instance, the Passover lamb. Now, they were told they had to have a lamb in all of the... Jewish people would come from all nations and all cities. They would gather in Jerusalem and every family would purchase a lamb. Mm -hmm. And so they would go to get a lamb and the place where they would go to get them, the field where the lambs were raised and born by special shepherds, you knew it would be approved at the temple for sacrifice was Bethlehem. Mm. And actually tradition sort of says that it was in the very fields that the shepherds were watching the lambs when the angels came and announced Jesus' birth. Mm. Or they were actually shepherds that raised lambs to be offered on Passover. Oh, wow. So they were, they were raising the lambs that were going to be used for sacrifice. How appropriate they would be called by the angels to witness the birth of the Lamb of God. Wow. But here are some of the traditions and the things that history tells us. Mm -hmm. and, and the rabbis teach and say about Passover and the lamb and being selected. Someone once said to me, why should I listen? What, what's important? Why, why should we care about what the rabbis say? Yeah. Jesus was a rabbi. They called yeah. him rabbi. Yeah. So all of his teachings were rabbi teachings, mm -hmm. if you will. Let's just think about how, how they might affect us and how they might help. For instance, the Passover lamb. You would go and purchase it in Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. You would pay a price for it. Mm -hmm. You would select it. it they would say, I, I was told that the family would go and the, maybe the boys, the older boys would go. They'd bring the older, and they would find the lamb and they'd say, Daddy, how about And he would look and they'd make sure it was, you know, without blemish. And then he would take it and select it. With, Mwah, this is our lamb. Mm -hmm. Give it a kiss. Then they would brought it and stayed four days with them. Mm -hmm. Then they tied it with a rope and brought it to Jerusalem for slaughter. Mm -hmm. Isn't it interesting? Jesus was born in Bethlehem mm -hmm. because he was born to be the Lamb of God. Yeah. He was selected mm -hmm. and chosen by a kiss. Mm -hmm. Whom is Jesus? Whom do you seek? And the Judas came up and said he would tell who he was and he kissed him. Mm -hmm. He was tied with a rope and led to Jerusalem mm -hmm. for slaughter. Mm -hmm. The Lamb of God, Agnes Day. Jesus is the Lamb of God. Now, when they would bring the Lamb from Bethlehem in, in Passover, the family would bring him to the temple. What would happen is that the Levi would, would examine him, the high priest. The priest would examine him right at the temple. They would look at him if there was any blemish. But you kind of knew if you bought the Lamb in Bethlehem, they were going to approve it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So, And then he would say, I find no fault in him. And he would wash his hands in a bowl of water. Mm -hmm. And then they would bring their lamb, the family, the father, mm -hmm. and the boys to go ahead and have it slaughtered. Mm -hmm. Jesus was brought. Mm -hmm. Selected with a kiss. Mm -hmm. He had been purchased with a price. Judas sold him for coins. Sold mm -hmm. him out. Brought. And then he's and before the authority of the time. Punches Pilate. Punches Pilate says, I find no fault with him and washes his hand mm. in a bowl of water. Yeah. No insignificant detail mm. in scripture. Those who understood Passover and understood about the Passover lamb could see the symbolism in every detail it points and screams. Jesus is the lamb of God. Yeah. Have to have his blood applied to the doorpost of your heart mm -hmm. to be redeemed, to be purchased from slavery, to be set free from Egypt, from the world system, from the bondage of sin. Yeah. Listen, Passover is not just, you know, it's not a Jewish tradition. This whole thing about the Last Supper and taking the bread and the wine and the elements and understanding and reliving this, mm -hmm. and getting rid of the leaven, the sin in your life, mm -hmm. It's an essential element of Christianity. Yeah. It's not a Jewish tradition. Mm -hmm. 
It's a feast of the Lord, an essential element of Christianity. And that's even why, and by the way, if you were uncircumcised in that day, you weren't allowed to do this. It wasn't for foreigners in the days of Jesus. It was, you had to be Jewish. But now we all celebrate the Lord's Supper if we have a circumcised heart. Yeah. And it says in the New Testament, in Romans, and Paul explains it in Corinthians, that it's not the circumcision of the flesh, but it's the circumcision of the heart. The hardness of your heart removed. Yeah. I'll give you a new heart, he says, mm. a heart of compassion, of love, one connected to God the Father. So we all can partake of it. We no longer do this in remembrance of coming out of Egypt. We do this in remembrance of what Jesus did for us. He's our Savior, and we take the, examine our heart to be sure that we've broken the hold of sin, mm. and we receive the forgiveness and the healing. That was purchased for us on the cross. Do this in remembrance of me, he said. Jesus said. And the great news is, he said, paid in full. When they, they translated it, it is finished. He said, paid in full. The price is paid in full. Mm. The cross is the place of great exchange, of great grace. Your sinful nature for the righteousness of mm. Jesus, the Son. What a great exchange that is. That's so amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time to share this with my all pleasure. of us. I mean, my mind is blown. Um, and it just makes it that much more significant in understanding why we do what we do and why we celebrate what yes. we celebrate. Yeah. So um, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please do that right now. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me at jordanandrayma.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out uh, the first video about Passover if you have not yet. Otherwise, have a great rest of your week. God bless.